the obturator artery. The obturator artery is a branch of the anterior division of the internal iliac artery. It arises in the pelvis and it enters the obturator canal. And it divides into two branches, the anterior and the posterior branch, which form a vascular circle around the outer surface of the obturator membrane. Branches of the obturator artery. An acetabular branch which reaches the hip joint and joins the ligamentum teres to supply the head of the femur, usually a small portion of the head of the femur. The other branches are muscular branches which supply muscles of the medial side of the thigh. There are some important anatomical and clinical consideration for the obturator artery. Number one, the corona mortis which is a connection between the internal iliac branch, the obturator, and the external iliac or its branch, the inferior epigastric. Cadaveric studies showed incidence of this corona mortis up to 84%. However, in clinical practice, the incidence of corona mortis is not that high. It is predominantly a venous connection and the arterial connection is much less. Its location in the superior pubic ramus is variable. It's about 3 to 7 cm from the symphysis pupus. It is located behind and on top of the superior pubic ramus and one must be careful with lateral dissection of the superior pubic ramus. Corona mortis means the crown of death. It is susceptible to injury in pelvic trauma and pelvic surgery. The injury to the corona mortis may lead to significant hemorrhage, which may be difficult to control. The second topic is a stabler screw's position in total hip arthroplasty. For safe insertion of a stabler screws in total hip arthroplasty, the stabler anatomy utilizes a quadrant system. How do you find a safe zone for placement of the stabler screws? And how to avoid the dangerous zone? A line drawn from the anterior superior iliac spine through the center of the establum, this line separates the anterior and the posterior quadrant. This line is divided or bisected perpendicular at its midpoint to create four quadrant. The obturator vessels are found in the anterior inferior quadrant. The anterior superior quadrant contains the external iliac vessels. This diagram shows the different quadrant and zones for insertion of astabular screws in total hip arthroplasty. The obturator artery may be at risk of injury from placement of retractor underneath the transverse astabular ligament, especially if the retractors are placed too anteriorly during total hip replacement. The transverse astabular ligament bridges the astabular notch. The ligament converts the notch into a tunnel. The blood vessels enter the joint through this tunnel. Branches of the obturator artery may bleed in this area of the transverse acetabular ligament.
If the transverse acetabular ligament needs to be transected, then release it in the posterior half in order to avoid bleeding from the obturator artery. Reduction of open book fracture of the pelvis can be done utilizing reduction clamps. It's probably safe to insert the reduction clamp through the medial side of the foramen away from the neurovascular bundle which is located laterally. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.